talk, shop, pop, movies. Oh, hey there, this is Derek, the Convicted Cinephile, and if you're a convicted cinephile yourself, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel down below. On my channel, I like to talk, shop, and pop open, that is, movies and physical media. And I'm at a Walmart's. I figured I'm in the area, might as well check out if this Walmart has as many steelbooks as my own Walmart, which I sadly went to a couple days after I made my last Walmart video, and basically everything I even kind of wanted was sold out at that point, <laughs> which kind of sucked. Uh, so I thought maybe I'd give them another chance, maybe I'll look out, see a couple different things, and just see, you know, some newer releases, because it's been a couple of weeks, so let's check it out. All right, they have the $5 bin. Let's dig in and see what we're watching tonight. Uh, oh, yeah, Wolfhound. Sounds good. All right, here's some of those little 3D VHS things again. None of the same, or I should say all of the same ones that the other location had. Nothing new here to see, but it's cool that they have these little things now. This is a cool little NECA set. Double pack for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. I was five years old and I still fell asleep in the theater when I saw that. All right, here's the new Poor Things Blu-ray. Very nice slip on this one. I will get that at some point, but it being on Hulu readily available, I don't need to write the second. Dream Scenario I really want to see. I don't need to get all the Best Picture nominees, but I don't need to spend $25 on them when I can watch them. <laughs> Anytime I want right this second, I can get them later. All right, behind here we got some Turtles, Expendables, the, the movie box sets that they are pretty good about having here at Walmart. This Indiana Jones one is confusing. It's lenticular, which is cool. I thought it was this huge set, and then I realized I was holding two at once because I'm an idiot. All right, here's the movie of the month Nicolas Cage selection here. Uh, some more recent-ish releases. Nothing too special there. We got Wish. They wish people saw that, that's for sure. Um, Aquaman. Migration, that's a cute movie there. And here is the Steelbook Wall. Uh, mostly the same stuff. We got, is this a different price on this one? I can't remember. Creature from the Black Lagoon, I love the look of that. Anaconda. Creep Show, TCM, Hollow Man. I might grab that one today if it's the only thing that jumps out at me. I love me some Hollow Man, Winnie the Poop. Um, this is a cool one. I love this cover, Brawl on Cell Block 99. Great movie, I think. Uh, the Batman Beyond series is cool. This one, my other store didn't have, the Zack Snyder's Justice League. That's cool. Some platoons flying on the bottom there. <laughs> Dread. <laughs> uh, yeah, nothing. Uh, just tomorrow, I don't know if the other store had. Uh, this one's seen better days. This kickboxer is a little beat up. It's in the wrong spot, too, I think. Yeah, nothing different. They got monsters. Uh, little monsters, excuse me. The Mario Brothers and Turtles ones, though. I did not see at my local store, so that's nice. I already own Mario Brothers, though. Uh, weird. You got that one already. And here they have the Sonic 2 Steelbook, which I love, but buy the 2-pack. It's cheaper. Uh, and then on this side, they just have a dragon heart. Yeah, that's all I have here. Uh, not much today, so let's see what I grabbed. And we're back. Yeah, nice short and sweet trip. I was already out and about doing things. Thought I'd break it up because the Walmart stuff gets its own crowd, as it were. Um, they had a decent amount of stuff. They had a few of them my local store did not have, including the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Mario steelbooks otherwise it was pretty much all the same like i said i regret not buying that oppenheimer when i had the chance to get it but whatever i'll buy it eventually um i did splurge and grab hollow man i didn't want to not get anything again like i did last time i love hollow man it is easily in my top four paul verhoeven movies it's honestly i've only seen four um <laughs> but i really like it i've liked it ever since i saw it in the theater I still think the visual effects are cool, even though obviously they're dated at this point, but they're still impressive. I like a good Invisible Man movie. It's my favorite Universal Monster movie, as far as the classics go, which I only learned this last year because I just finally saw it. But I like the new Invisible Man. I love this one. Anything Invisible is cool. I just always like that stuff. And I like the goriness, the Verhovenness of it all. Plus it has bacon. You get to see Kevin Bacon's... Uh, 
heat vision flaccid penis in this movie, which, you know, you don't get to see that in everything. I'm going to open it up for you. I bought it. I might as well at least show it to you, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, so it's got the J card there. And it is cool. I like the simple the simple teaser poster. I think that was the teaser poster back in the day. And then you have this on the back where you get his invisible eyeballs through his little uh, fake skin suit. And, yeah, it's just a single disc Blu-ray. I'm always weary about buying these because I know, like, two minutes later they're going to come out with a damn 4K, as always. I complain about that in every video, probably. That's a great scene, though, when he's getting rained on. Like, the way they did that, it's so impressive. I love all the behind-the-scenes stuff. Hopefully this Blu-ray has some of that, but I won't be surprised if it doesn't. Because, like I said, it's a Mill Creek release. They usually don't have that many special features. <laughs> but look it up. I'm sure you can find it on YouTube. And you're already on there because you're watching this. Uh, I don't think there's anything there. It's just an extension of the same scene, but I thought I would check. Very cool movie. I like Hollow Man. So yeah, this one's a little more than I think it's worth. It's $25 for just a Blu-ray. <laughs> like I said, more than I would normally spend. I'm excited that they're going to be getting more Vestron Video Steelbooks. Because the two they already did, Shivers and Little Monsters, I already have. I don't need to buy the Steelbooks. I already have the same disc in non-Steelbook form. Same goes for the Maximum Overdrive they did. But the next two they're doing are something I can't remember. It's a really weird movie. <laughs> and The Gate. Neither of those I have the standard Vestrons of. So I'll probably grab those Steelbooks when they come out. Because they're still pretty reasonable. I think they were 20 bucks as opposed to 25 And those things are packed with features as far as a cheaper... Lionsgate title goes. So that's all I had today. Nice quick little Walmart trip. I'll probably go to my other half price books that's closer to me soon. I haven't been there in a while. I hit up the other ones recently that are farther away from my house a tad. And then, yeah, we'll see what turns up. Once again, my name is Derek, the Convicted Cinephile. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Book, shop, pop, movies.